This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. I, along with so many other people out there, was devastated to learn of the news that the esteemed journalist Ron Lewis had passed away uh, this morning. I only saw Ron yesterday um, at the Joshua Franklin launch press conference. Only exchanged greetings. I think he was on his way to do the sit down um, with the newspaper journalist for AJ. Um, but I've known Ron for probably around 15 years now. Um, used to see him at all the events when I was at Boxing News and he was at the Times. He was their boxing journalist for many years um, and also the school's journalist and did various other sports as well, all with his impeccable quality and integrity. He was a consummate journalist, um, a really great guy, great company, could talk um, at length and with intelligence and insight on a variety of topics. Um, he, it was never boring. He was a colleague uh, when I freelanced on Boxing Monthly and also on the Box Nation discussion show, Boxing Matters, uh, where I had the pleasure of sharing a sofa with Ron many times. Um, but perhaps my uh, biggest memory of Ron um, was in 2011. We were in California for, uh, I think it was Matthew Hatton's world title fight against Canelo. Um, and we also went to visit the wildcard gym. Amir Khan was training there at the time. And um, I think we were both at a loose end one night, British guys abroad. Um, and we went on a, a beach hopping trip along the Los Angeles coast. And we ended up at a place called Sleepy Hollow Beach. Um, and by that time, uh, darkness had fallen. Moonlight abounded. And we went to this tiny beach, or it felt tiny at the time anyway. Um, overlooked by apartment blocks and there were kind of late night joggers and dog walkers and stuff on the beach but hardly anyone else there wind crashing through the waves and it was pretty cool sight but i don't think either of us could quite get over the ludicrous um image or feeling of two uh middle-aged or he was then maybe i am now uh, heterosexual Englishman sharing this what would be for a couple quite a romantic setting um, and I think we both found that hilarious uh, I didn't have a child then but he he had Stan his oldest son who's a promising cricketer I believe um, and I know he was missing him a great deal he was obviously very young then but he was missing him a great deal at the time and over the years one thing that never changed with Ron as he went through different um, roles and different jobs uh, apart from how good he was at those it was that he was always an incredibly proud doting father his kids always came first the amount of times he had to leave um, events early um, work-wise so that he could get to his son's cricket match or something his other kids would do uh, his, his daughter was doing um, family was always the most important thing to Ron um, despite being so accomplished in his chosen vocation so I think, you know, he leaves behind a great legacy, not only professionally, but personally. Um, we're all going to miss him deeply. Um, you know, a lot of platitudes go out whenever someone passes away, many of which are deserved. But with Ron, he was always low key, never made it about himself. Um, but he was incredible at his job and an even better person. Um, so, yeah, rest in peace, Ron Lewis, and we will miss you.